Welcome to your deep dive. Get this, we're diving into faceless YouTube channels. You know those channels. The ones raking in views and subscribers without ever showing their faces. Mm -hmm. You send over some seriously interesting info on how AI is making this whole thing possible. And honestly, after reading through it all, I'm ready to swap my webcam for some algorithms. I can see why. It flips the script on how we think about content creation. We're so used to associating a face, a personality, with a successful YouTube channel. Right. But this... The first thing this guide hits on is doc communication. Of course. I mean, every relationship book talks about communication, right? That's true. It's everywhere. But, and this is key, it's not just about talking. It's about how you communicate, you know? Oh, 100%. Yeah. yeah. Like, I'm a talk it out person, but my partner... Mm -hmm. needs a full hour to process before we even discuss dinner plans. Exactly. And this guide kind of misses that whole nuance. You know what I mean? It assumes everyone's the same, but we're not... Not even close. Right. You have... Do you know this podcast is fake? And this podcast is also fake. And do you know all this podcast you just watched were all AI generated? Like I showed you in the previous video on how to generate an audio podcast using the Google newest AI tool. That is the Google Notebook LM. I am also going to show you how to generate a video podcast using the Google Notebook LM plus other free AI tools. Before we get started, let me give you all the steps that we are going to follow to generate a similar video podcast like what you just watched so the first step is to generate our audio using a free ai tool second step is to edit our audio third step is to create an avatar by generating a prompt to create the avatar then fourth step is to generate our avatar using a free ai tool and the fifth step is to lip sync our avatar using another free ai tool and number six is to remove all watermarks from our clips that we have generated and the seventh step is to upscale our video using another AI tool. And the final step is to organize our clips using an editing app of our choice. So let's start with the step one. Step one is to generate our audio. So to generate our audio, I have made a video on how to generate our audio and how to even get materials that you can use to generate your audios. So if you haven't watched that video, make sure you go and watch that video just after watching this video. But I'm going to give you a brief introduction on how to generate the audio. But if you, if you want that into details, this video will pop up after watching this video so that you can go and enhance that portion. To generate our audio, we are going to use the Google Notebook LM. So on Google Notebook LM, click on the plus or new notebook then we are going to choose any of these options in my previous video i talked about all the options so if you want to know more about these options make sure you go and watch that video after watching this video so we are going to choose google docs and pick one of our documents from google docs then select the article or the document that you want to convert into an audio so we're going to click on this one and click on the insert button and before we click on the generate button remember this is going to be a deep dive conversation between two hosts and click on the generate button to generate our audio so our audio is ready we can play it and see how it came out All right diving right in we're taking a deep dive into your notes on ai image generation prompts today oh this should be fun you've been really digging into this yeah and i'm uh i'm really interested to see what you've found seems like you're really on a quest to master this whole prompt crafting thing well you hit on something really important right away these AI models, they're like powerful engines. Okay. But they need the right driver to really get going. This is so fantastic. I hope you like what you just heard. So what we are going to do from here is to click on the three dots here and download this audio onto our drive. The next step is to edit our audio. And we are going to use any editing app of our choice. So I'm going to use Wondershare to do the editing. So I'm going to import the audio to Wondershare. So I'll click on the plus sign and then this is the audio. Now I'm going to add the audio to my timeline what we are going to do is to listen to the audio carefully and do separation of voices we are going to choose the first timeline for the male and the second timeline for the female so we're going to start by playing the audio the whenever we hear the female host talking we are going to split that and bring it or drag it to the second timeline so we realize she made a sound here so we're going to split that let's start from here so we're going to split that and drag it to the next timeline so we're 
we're going to drag it like this and drag this down separate this one too and drag it so we're going to split this one too and bring it down so this is how we do the voice separation we have separated the female host from the male host so what we're going to do from here is to put one on silent and export the first one i'm going to put the audio on the second timeline on silent like this by clicking on the mute button then i'm going to click on export button we are going to change the format to mp3 so you scroll down choose mp3 and then rename this file to be mail host or to make it host one host one and click on the export button great this is successful the next thing we are going to do is to mute this and unmute the second host and click on the export button rename it to be host two maintain the mp3 format and export that too now we have two separate audios that we are going to work with and that leads us to the next step the next step is to generate avatar for a video or for a podcast and i use chat gpt to generate a prompt that i can use to generate an avatar and the reason why i use chat gpt was because i generated my article with chat gpt i asked chat gpt i'm going to transform this article into a podcast please give me a prompt that i can use to generate two different people in this podcast a male and a female it should be separate people with the same studio background ground also i want this avatar to be americans the microphone to be close to them and they should be holding the microphone with a lot of smiles on their face i want the male attire to be red and the female attire to be white blouse so you can see chat gave me an image instead of a prompt so i asked chat i want a prompt to create a realistic image not image so chat went ahead and generated a prompt for me i asked chat again make it separate one for the male and one for the female. So ChatGPT separated a prompt for me by giving me a prompt that I can use to generate a, a male avatar and a prompt that I can use to generate a female avatar. So you can copy that and generate the images individually. So this leads us to the fourth step that is the generation of the avatar. So with the avatar, we are going to use the Microsoft Designer to do that. So on Microsoft Designer homepage, come to this box and click on images. Then come to the description section, paste your prompt here then choose a size so with the size we are going to choose the square size instead of the wide size so we're going to choose the square and click on the generate button to generate a male avatar anyway if you haven't subscribed to this channel do not forget to click on the subscribe button to subscribe to this channel and also click on the notification bell so that you don't miss any video on this channel if you like this video too don't forget to give me a big thumbs by clicking on the like button and also share the video with people that really need this video at this time now you can see our first avatar has been created for us so we can go ahead and copy the second one come back to the microsoft designer paste the prompt in the description section and click on the generate button to generate your female avatar now if you do not like the avatar you can regenerate again click on the generate button again to get the kind of image that you want so now we have two beautiful avatar that we are going to work with so we can preview it and then select one of the avatars so we hit on the download button and click on download to download our avatar now let's go to the male avatar let's preview it and then choose one we are going to select this one and click on the download button and download that to onto our drive. Now that we have our avatar for the podcast, the next thing we are going to do is to lip sync our avatar. And we are going to use another AI tool to do that. So in your browser, you can type hydra.com. On Hydra homepage, scroll down, click on try beta. And then from here, we can generate audio here directly on Hydra by pasting the test here and then generate the audio. But we are going to import the notebook LM audio that we edited on our drive here. So we are going to click on import audio, click on this icon, then go to your drive where you save that audio. So we have the host one and host two. Host one is the male. Then we come to the character box. Box. that is where our avatar comes in and choose this icon to add your avatar so we're going to choose our male host and then choose the aspect ratio so with the aspect ratio we are going to maintain the one is to one or the square because we will be merging the two avatar on the same screen now we can click on the generate button to generate our first video
while we wait for the first host video to be generated we are going to also generate the second one so that by the time the first one is ready the second one is also ready so we are going to click on the import audio click on the plus sign and go to our drive and import the second audio that is the host 2 click on host 2 click on the open button then come to the character box click on the icon here and then import your image or your avatar so we are going to choose this one then click on the generate button this is going to take two minutes approximately to generate a video for us so our first video has been generated for us we can try and play to see the outcome so after playing the video we can go ahead and download that onto our drive too so click on the three dots here click on the download button to download that onto your drive the second video too is ready try and play that too and see and download that also onto your drive so we have successfully downloaded all the video clips that we generated with the hydra ai to our drive and this leads us to the next step which is watermark removal so you can see beneath this video we have hydra watermark on it so what we're going to do is to use another free ai tool to remove the watermark so in our browser type 123apps.com click on the first option scroll down and choose remove logo from video then click on open file so choose the file that you want to you want to remove the watermark from so we're going to select this one next is to select the yellow box here and then drag the cursor to where you have the watermark and highlight the watermark click on the apply button at the left click on the save button on the left again and click on the export button then click on the save button to save that onto your drive so now we have successfully removed the watermark from from the first host now we are going to work on the watermark on the second host so you go back to your home page click on the remove logo from video click on open file so we're going to choose this one then choose the yellow box bring your cursor to where we have the watermark highlight it click on apply choose save button click on export button and then click on the save button and save that also onto your drive so now we are done removing the watermark from all our videos but if you watch a video carefully you can tell the video quality is quite down so what we're going to do from here is to upscale the video using another ai tool and that is CapCut online version so in our browser you can type CapCut. if you are using the offline desktop offline version or you are using your phone and you might not have access to this feature so if you want to have access to this pro feature of CapCut, then you have to use the online version so on CapCut homepage, come to the left and choose magic tools then look for image upscaler or video upscaler so we have if we scroll down we have video we have the video upscaler so you're going to select that and then import the video that we want to upscale so click on the upload button and choose the video you want to upscale and click on the upscale button to upscale the video while we wait for CapCut to process this the first one we can go ahead and work on the second clip too so we're going to choose the same option again click on the download button choose the second host and click on upscale to upscale the second clip so let's check on the first one is still generating and the second one is also generating as well great so you can see this video is better than the previous one it has been worked look at the first video and compare it to the current one that we just upscaled with CapCut. so we can click on the export button from here and export that onto our drive now click on the download button and download your video the second video is also ready so you can click on the export button then click on the download button and export this one to onto your drive congratulations we are now on the final step which is the organization of the clips so if you have been able to watch this video to this point you have done really well so the next thing we're going to do is to organize our two clips and put it together using an editing app of your choice and so you can use CapCut, you can use canva you can use any editing app of your choice but i am going to use the wondershare editing app so that is what i used to create or to edit my first audio so i'm going to delete everything on the timeline then click on the import media button and import the two clips that we generated or we upscale with CapCut to Wondershare so we have selected the two images click on the open button now we are going to add the first one to our timeline then we bring our pointer to the 
beginning and add a second clip to the second timeline that is going to be on the top so we can go ahead and add that now we're going to bring our cursor here you can see this one has overshadowed the other one so we're going to so we're going to select this one and push it to the right like this just drag it and select the, the male host and pull it to the left like this this is the reason why we decided to use the square aspect ratio or the one is to one aspect ratio so that the two images can fit onto the screen now this is perfect this is so nice you can see the background looks similar the same if you haven't subscribed to this channel yet please click on the subscription button to subscribe and also do not forget to hit on the notification bell so that you do not miss any video on this channel don't forget to give me a comment in the comment section let me know your thoughts about this video in the comment section and also share the video with families and friends who needs this video to start a podcast channel anytime soon so now what we're going to do from here is to play this video to see so you can see how the conversation is going so this is how you can create a video podcast using the microsoft notebook lm plus other free ai tools like ChatGPT for generating your script and also your prompt using microsoft designer to create your image or generate your images and then using hydra to lip sync your images then using one to three apps to remove your watermark and upskill your video using kafka then finally organize your video using an editing app of your choice but we use wondershare in this video so from here click on the export button change the mp3 format to mp4 so you can go through it and choose the mp4 now you can choose any of this video quality we can go with a higher one then come to the resolution and choose the highest that you can accommodate on your drive then you can click on the export button from here to export your video if you like this video don't forget to give me a big thumbs up and also leave a comment in the comment section below because it goes a long way to support me and the channel as well and also also, if you haven't watched the previous video on my review on the Microsoft Notebook LM, that video will pop up after watching this video. If you want to learn more about AI animated videos, a full playlist will be popping up after watching this video. Click on it, go and watch every single video in the playlist for better understanding. Until then, I'm going to see you in the next video. Bye-bye.